Free software, we've done that to death. What about free content with DRM all over the place? Is the concept of free quality content dead? No. Here are some of our favorite sources for free stuff to watch, hear, and play. Number one, Hulu. <laughs> Hulu. Hulu. Who knew? Hulu. <laughs> Hulu is a website that offers commercial supported streaming video of TV shows and movies from NBC, Fox, ABC, plus many other networks and studios. Whether it's a new show like V, I actually watched the first four episodes of V on Hulu this past weekend. Cool. Or an old favorite cartoon like Exo Squad. If you missed it on TV, chances are you can find it on Hulu. Caveat, US only. Sorry. I mean, maybe you could find some kind of proxy thing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Ask us. We'll tell you how to do it. Emol.org, entertainment magazine, free movies and TV shows page. This site links to many of the movies and TV shows currently in the public domain that are available for free download. From old classics like Robin Hood with Douglas Fairbanks to these slightly less classic 80s schlock movies like Blood Tide starring James Earl Jones, you will be amazed at the number and <laughs> vastly varying quality of movies that made it through the Hollywood production lines. Good times, people. Yeah, you can probably find some on archive.org too, Ooh. I would imagine. Oh, that's not, you know, go there, just check it out. Check that out too. Check out the, the uh, well, let's talk music. Okay, Amazon and <laughs> iTunes. Both offer an eclectic mix of free music for download. Uh, you'll find some great jams, but you have to roll up your sleeves a little bit and get down to digging. And while they're streaming, not download, let's add in Pandora, Last.fm, and The61.com, which is my personal favorite site, favorite way, favorite anything lately. You, you, to you've been to music. obsessed with that lately. I, I, yeah. The best like, thing about Because it has points, because you earn points for doing things. It's like quests. I wrote a whole, whole article about it on uh, Maximum PC, actually, <laughs> this past week about like earning gamer score for life, like doing right. things in real life that earn you points. It's yeah. a good thing. Oh, and it. she mentioned archive.org. Check out the live shows collection. They're all approved by the artists that were basically made the music, their live shows. The quality varies, but some of the stuff is outstanding, and they have a ridiculous array of types of musics on there. Video games. How about GameTap? The popular online PC gaming service provides a small selection of older and newer games for free. The library of free stuff has been trimmed a little bit since it was sold last year, but the offerings still include Metal Slug, Descent Free Space, Just Cause, and yes, Sam and Max, Abe Lincoln Must Die. And I gotta add also, since I just found out about it and I'm a little excited because uh, of Battlezone, um, Atari.com. If you like 80s arcade action, basically they have classic arcade games. You can play them through your web browser. Uh, Games include Adventure, Yars Revenge, Battlezone, a couple others. Check it out. Web comics. Yes. Web comics are awesome. Um, some of these are a bit naughty, but brace yourself. XKCD, of course, is not naughty, but has awesome geek humor and math. Penny Arcade blends rage and video games. You can get exceptionally naughty. Uh, they also do childsplaycharity.org, which is a good charity. An and awesome not charity. Not naughty related at all. No. It's giving kids in hospitals uh, gaming consoles and, and ways toys. to play games and toys so they can do something, you know for the holidays instead of being sick and sad and by themselves. It's, distract it's just a cool, childsplaycharity.org, go check it out. Questionablecontent.net, it's kind of an indie music meets the geek lifestyle with some of the best t-shirt backgrounds I've ever seen. And just about all the cartoons that my local paper drops are online somewhere, so go read them. Of course, I have to mention some of my good friends, uh, Scott Johnson at Extra Life, Ooh. O at um, Obsidian, commissioncomic.com, and, and Brian over at um, Mission Deep. And I think he has another one called Guy in a Bush, but I'm not sure if that's a comic. I haven't looked to the website yet. It sounds naughty, but it's not, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, there's Gutenberg.org, which has classic texts online. Um, I wish I had known about that one in college. Because it dates back to the early 70s. It's an amazing backstory, but basically it's free, legitimate, public domain content. It is all of the classics of literature. It is awesome. Yeah, can you um, save them to like a Kindle or an oh, e-reader yes, device? You can. Actually, mo in many cases, a lot of the free books that you pay for at some places probably originated from from uh, ah, from, from Gutenberg. Uh, Gutenberg. I that, see. That, I could be wrong about that, but boy, it wouldn't be surprised. You know what? Just go there. It's awesome, and, and they're available in tons of formats. Read them on the web page. Read them on your ebook. Yeah.